Hey everyone, today's wingtip is going to be all about the different speeds you can use to climb to your cruise altitude. There are three different airspeeds you should know about when you're climbing out from the airport, and that's VX, VY, and the lesser known to me, VCC, which stands for Cruise Climb. I'm going to explain all three of them by giving you a quick demonstration. I'm on the runway, I've got my clearance, I'm ready for takeoff, so I'm just going to apply full throttle to get going. VX is going to give me the best altitude gain for the least distance traveled. Generally, you would only use that airspeed when there's an obstacle at the end of the runway. There are a few trees at the end of the runway here, and we can pretend they're a little bit bigger than they are to validate using VX on takeoff. So in the Cessna, VX is at around 55 knots. So now that I've taken off, I am going to pitch the plane to hold 55 knots while I get over those obstacles. In this case, I am already above the obstacles. So at that point, I can switch to the next airspeed, which is VY. VY is going to give me the best rate of climb for the plane. And in this airplane, it's at around 67 knots. I'll generally use VY to get up to pattern altitude. It just gets you there that little bit faster so that you can then decide what you're going to do next. The third and final airspeed that I use is the cruise climb airspeed, which is going to be faster than the uh, VY or VX speeds. In this plane, uh, cruise climb airspeed is at around 87 knots or so. So again, all I'm going to do is I am going to pitch to hold around 79 knots, right around there. So the cruise climb airspeed is going to me get me a smaller rate of climb, but what it's going to allow me to do is have a better forward visibility out of the cockpit. It also means for any virtual passengers that I might have on board, it'll be a little bit more comfortable than VX or VY because both those airspeeds are a lot more aggressive in terms of pitch. An easy way to calculate a uh, cruise climb airspeed is to take the difference between VY and VX and add it to VY. A lot of planes don't seem to publish uh, this airspeed and it's an easy way to approximate in the game. Cruise climb airspeed is also the airspeed that I'm going to trim for so that I can let go of any pressure on the stick. I generally won't trim for VX or VY because I don't hold them for that long, but since I use the cruise climb airspeed to get all the way up to cruise altitude, which may be anywhere between 5,000 and 10,000 feet, I'll definitely trim so that I can let go of the pressure on the stick. I'll put in the show notes the airspeeds for VX, VY, and a cruise climb airspeed that I use fairly frequently for the planes that I fly the most. Hopefully they can be useful for you to make your next flight a little bit more realistic. As usual, if you got some value out of this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.